Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where your Windows 11 PC is taking a very long time to actually start up. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but by the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of where your PC lines up. Now, if your PC is very outdated and it's extremely old and it's just like, you know, it's like an old PC, well, no matter what you do, it's probably going to be slow when you're booting it up for the first time or first, you know, forever. So that's a big thing. If you have like a hard drive, low amount of RAM, different things like that, it's not going to take a lot, it's going to take a lot of time regardless so that's a big thing to keep in mind now another thing you can do let's say it's a fairly new pc with the ssd and all that stuff well the, i would probably recommend deleting any apps that actually open up during startup so what this is is basically apps that randomly open up when you go ahead and you know, actually boot up your pc so in order to do this what you want to do is you want to open up your task manager within the task manager window you want to go ahead and click on the startup tab and then in that startup tab you want to go ahead and disable whichever you know apps you don't even use anymore so if there's a random apps within that task manager tab well you want to go ahead and disable those because you don't want them opening up when you're booting up your pc because that will take precious time away from your pc of booting up and it's just something that's not even worth it so disable those apps if you don't want them actually you know booting up every single time now let's say that doesn't fix it well another thing you can do is actually go ahead and updating your windows pc so if you actually install the first beta of a windows so if you actually install like the first version of windows 11 well it's going to get better throughout time so you want to go ahead and update your you know windows 11 you know version so go inside of your settings panel you want to go into windows update and you want to check for the updates by clicking on that button and you want to download and install the latest update if you're on the latest update then you're pretty much good to go but if you're on an outdated version of windows 11 or even windows 10 and you're updating to windows 11 well you want to make sure you install the latest version of that software so make sure that's the case and you should be a little bit better in that situation now another thing you can do is actually go ahead and close out of any other applications that you're using in the background or even deleting and freeing up some space on your, your drive. That's another big thing you can do. I've seen many times of people almost running out of storage and then right, even if they have a really good performing PC, it will randomly start crashing on them and take forever to boot up just because they're almost out of memory. So that's another pretty big thing you can do. Another thing you can do, which I've kind of seen people do is actually completely reset their PC and then reinstall Windows 11 on it. Sometimes if they just you know roll over into a Windows 11 update from Windows 10, that can be a little bit detrimental. I would probably save that as the last option if nothing else is working. Those are just a couple different ways you can go ahead and actually, you know, speed up your boot up time on Windows 11. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.